Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Penko Park. Penko Park, of course, is exactly like Jurassic Park, except there are no dinosaurs. So, actually, now that I think about it, not at all like Jurassic Park, even a little bit. Um, but what it is very similar to is Pokemon Snap. Penko Park is effectively an indie game version of Pokemon Snap. You enter into a park, you can't move around freely, you're fixed into like a little cart that goes along a rail, and from that cart you have to take pictures of and collect creatures that you see in the park. Fantasy creatures, cute little beings, uh, inventions of the creator of this game, so not actual animals, strange otherworldly animals. I am all about that. I'm very excited to check it out today. I'm a big fan of Pokemon Snap, um, and I was crazy excited when they announced a new Pokemon Snap earlier this year, but there's still no release date on that. So for now, I'll play Penko Park, and I'll catch all the strange little creatures in here. I'm also a big fan of any game where I can just collect things, and I think this game is very heavy on the collecting side. So let's jump in and check it out. I'm excited. Oh, the leaves are... Hello, golf ball head. Why are you taking pictures of me? That's not how this works, mate. I'll take pictures of you. <laughs> if you've recently subscribed to my channel because of my VR content, then this is the other stuff I do. Uh, just weird games. Weird games that I feel like playing. I basically play whatever the hell I want on this channel, to be perfectly honest with you. Um... Welcome to Penko Park, the greatest wildlife park ever built. It was founded by the supremely honourable Sir Rupertus Penko in 1952. Good. My name is Penky and I'll be your guide for today. Oh, there you are. Hello, mate. How are you? You do have a golf ball for a head. I'm not, I'm not angry about it. I'm just letting you know. Penko Park has always been home to countless unique species. We have not had visitors in a while, but I will try my best to guide you safely through the park. Underneath your seat, you will find your complimentary Penko Snap a lot 9000. I don't think I've not even got a seat, mate. Use it to take nice pictures of the wildlife. Anything that moves, press to activate it and take photos. Oh, nice. Well, your wildlife, so I'm taking a picture of you, mate. Penky, three stars. Look at that. I'm, I'm a pro. I've played Pokemon Snap. I know how it goes. There's a lemon creature, and then a kind of a, a kind of weird squished dried up lemon creature oh i'm excited this is going to be great don't worry our animals are mostly friendly mostly all right so there's like a horror element in this game but kind of a horror game built for kids is what the store page the steam store page kind of alludes to i don't think it's scary for adults at least i hope not uh, there's much to find if you look closely hold on to your seat belts here we go oh and we're off. Honestly, if, if you've played Pokemon Snap or you're familiar with Pokemon Snap, this will look immediately familiar. Hello. What was that? Schnog? Well, we clearly need to find a way to make him come out of his little ball, don't we? Uh, if you've played Pokemon Snap, this will be immediately familiar to you. There's a Schnog. Three stars. Oh, look at this guy. He looks a little bit like... You know, this is a kid's game, but he does look like the tip of a penis. Um, just going to throw that out there. That's all I'm seeing. Purple, purple head, <laughs> big purple headed penis monster. There's a few of them as well. There's one with his little downturned eyebrows. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, have I got a limited amount of pictures? 31. I think I do, you know. Right, stay on the lookout for creatures that could be hiding. Oh, there's a little sleepy rock. I'm assuming you've got to get the red dot right in the middle to get a three-star picture. I've got you. I've got you, Mr. Penis Head. What is that there? That's not a creature. I don't know what that is, though. That's so chill. Oh, I think I missed something. I think there's something over there. Yeah, I think you can, again, much like Pokemon Snap, unlock things that you can throw and interact with the world because I could be able to hit that switch there to change the way I'm going, uh, I'm sure. Oh, what are these guys? Oh, nap, napli, nap, nap, nupli. I'm not going to be able to say the names. That's, um, that's immediately evident. There's an egg in that tree. Oh, oh, whoa. That little lemon-headed dude. 
Yeah, I've got limited pictures. I've got 27. I just wasted two on that little lemon guy, but I wanted to make sure I got a good one. <laughs> this game is trippy. I love the art style. Kind of looks like everything's made. Hello. I see you there. Hiding in the bushes. Oh, come on. That was a three star picture. Clearly not. Yeah, everything looks like it's made of paper um, or cardboard. Whoa! The Lemon King. Citru. Good name for a Lemon King. He's having a kip. What's that guy there? Oh! Oh! Who was that? Something ran across the, the my path there. He's hiding in this bush. Hello? Now he's long gone. He is long gone. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Not it's not a great picture of shrimp. But it'll have to do for now. Whoa! Oh, that's a good one. Lemon boy woke up. Oh, I love it. Hello, what's this? I guess it is a bit like Jurassic Park because screaming screaming oranges it's, it's a bit like Jurassic Park because you, you know a lot of Jurassic Park was just people sitting in cars looking out the window hoping to see glimpses of dinosaurs and then eventually when they did see them they kind of regretted seeing them and, and didn't want to see them anymore oh it's a big sludge monster yeah I like him mud gunk hey I can see you down there as well Moru yeah, it's, it's a big, fat collect -em up If you enjoy collecting things and ticking things off, um, immediately, I can tell you'll have a good time with this. There's... I can hear like a kind of... A kind of a gargling, monstery noise, but it might be coming from this this dude. Um, I believe there is like a kind of a sticker book type thing you get in this game as well. When, you're like, when you've taken a picture, it fills it in in the sticker book. Hello. Small. This ride ends here, but your journey does not. Okay, are we done? Here we go. So I've taken my pictures and now I get to stick them in my book. Right, I've got a pen key. That goes there. Easy peasy. Schnog. All right, schnog. He goes there. Oh, penis man and sleepy rock. These things look like the... Um, Kind of the forest spirits from Princess Mononoke, which I appreciate. Shriveled lemon. Wait. Oh, he goes there. All right, shriveled lemon goes there. Oh, Yaga and Yaga. Which one do I prefer? I like this one. Uh, sleepy, sleepy lemon can go there. And then a wake lemon can go here. Uh, I don't like either of these pictures of shrimp, but I have to use one. Let's stick that there. Perco, yeah, uh, that's him awake. Stick that there. Mud gunk. Moru. I don't know what, what happens if I fill this up to the top. Uh, small. Asleep. Okay. Would you look at that? So many beautiful pictures. The more you explore the park, the more experience you will get. On the left side, there is a bar that shows how much experience you gained towards your next Penko stamp. Look at the glowing stamp on the left and place it onto your album. You can unlock many marvelous things and even discover new park sections. Okay, so I can take this. Oh! Ooh, okay, so I've already got the camera. And I've already got access to the boulder forests. Press A or D to change car. Okay, so that's the next step and unlock. I can change the direction of the car before I get to little junctions. Right. Easy peasy. So I can go and explore some different... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. I can go and explore some different routes now through the park. There's a giant worm there. Oh, I didn't see him before. Right, I need something to throw at this guy to wake him up because I've got him like in a ball sleeping but I've not got him up and at him, dancing about. I cannot believe I missed that giant worm. Look at it. Huge. 
<gasps> That's a thing. Bloody uh, plants a animal. <gasps> What's that down there? Those are salad fingers. Oh my god, what is that? Burl bub. Yeah, I like him, he's wicked. It's telling me not to take pictures of Burl bub. There's a little sign down there that says don't take pictures. I'm not listening though. What is that? Junction ahead. Press A or D to change directions. Okay. So, where is the junction? I didn't notice the junction. It's that big spot. Oh, I'm going where the big spider was. Going through there. Oh, yeah. Going into the spider's den. It's fine, though. The creatures in this game are moderately friendly, so I don't think he's going to try and eat me. Oh, cool. Oh, yep, yeah, spider. Look at that flying potato. What is that? All right, I need a good picture of that flying potato. Big fan of the potato. Big fan. Big fan of your work, mate. Why? Why are you? Slonko. Oh, I don't know. It's all kicking off in here. It's all kicking off in the cave. The ca what is that? It is mental in here. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, this cave is the place to be. All the best creepy creatures are in here. Where's the spider, though? Oh, that's a really good one, Potato Boy. Yeah, look at that. Great picture. Hello. He's got a rock. What are you doing with that? What's your plan, mate? Are you going to throw it at me? You better not. Again, they look like the soot sprites from Spirit Away. Lots of um, kind of Studio Ghibli-esque looking creatures in this. Spider-Man. This game's great. Uh, it completely slipped under my radar. Um, but I'm glad to be playing it now. It's only been out for about a week, I think. Um, costs about £10.29p UK currency. Um, and it is just it's just Pokemon Snap. If you, if you want something to fill the void of a Pokemon Snap style game. Oh! This will do it for you. I like that one. Sleepy Peach. Uh, Penko Grappling Hand. Press 1 to select and uh, left click to shoot. Collect animal artifacts, flip switches and more. I'm all about that. Let's do it. Right, so I can get my little hand out and I can whack stuff or grab stuff. Yeah, all right. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy to try that. Grappling Hand is a handy tool for explorers. Try using it on the juicy red flowers everywhere. Oh, and also watch out for levers to press. The red flowers, eh? Aha! How far does it go? Can I smack him? That hand goes bloody miles. Oh! I found a treat. Don't know what it is. Oi! Wake up. That ain't gonna work. What about you? Don't touch the penis, actually. Regret that immediately. Don't don't touch it. Can I whack this thing to wake it up? Wake up. Nah. This hat. Oh! Wait! Wait, is that something to grab? What is that? Oh, hello. Oh, he's, he's a big boy. Hello, mate. He's angry. I stole his rib cage, and he's he's not having it. This is brilliant. Yeah, stop. You know, kicking off, mate. It's too late. I've taken it. I'm gone. Oh yes, I get to go down here where Salad Fingers lives. All right, better picture of him. I need to get closer. Egg. Can I hit the egg? Yes. I'll take that egg. Thank you very much. Another one up there, but. And that. Come on, Salad Fingers. Show me what you got. Yes! Wonderful. What's that there? Why? It's the creature from Jurassic Park with the little things. I did steal his baby, to be fair. I can understand why he's angry. Like a bold monk creature. 
Oh, he's great. Come out here. Oh, that was way better than one star. Oh, this grabby hands changed my life. It's given me access to all kinds of weird things. Volcanic caverns. Access to the subterranean section of Penko Park. There we go. I can go and check out the little volcano area now. And I've got another stamp. Maximum photos by 25. And that's it. Right, I've got 25 extra photos. And I can go and check out the volcano bit. Let's check out the volcano area, shall we? Oh. This kind of game should be released on Switch and stuff like that. I think it would find... Uh, Obviously, it would find a wider audience and then a bigger audience if it was released on more platforms, but it just feels like it, it would be so suited to the Switch. It's, it's great as it is on Steam, but I think the audience and the player base primarily of the Switch would lap something like this up. Um, we are now entering the volcanic area of Penko Park. Many species thought extinct were rediscovered in the caverns of this magmatic area. Since our last unfortunate incident, I will kindly ask you to stay inside the car and under no circumstances touch the lava. Your body would evaporate in an instant. Immediately, I'm going to throw my hand into the lava. That's the first thing I'm going to try. Buckle up and let's get moving before the magma gets cold. Right, well, I'm going to try. Oh, look at my chain. It goes all like red and glowing. That's great. Okay, keep our eyes peeled for goodies. Oh, what's that? Oh, I pressed that button from that far away. Uh, volcanic caverns might appear stony and brittle, but they are teeming with life that flourished under the adverse conditions. An entrance to this to this inner part of the cave was only found after the park was already built. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Sleepy octopus rock up there. What's this little ball? That's a creature. It's called a plop. Cloud rock. Oh, there's so many creatures here. I want something to better like hit the creatures and anger them. Oh, interesting. Let's go. Let's go that way. Yeah. Oh, monkey creature. Not a great picture. I have to come back for that one. What is that? A little acorn. A little acorn monster. Oh, see that present up there? I'll take that. Thank you very much. This mushroom cave seems to be part of a larger network of oversized fungi, harboring many mostly solitary species. Further explorations were quickly put to a grinding halt after too many penkies fell into chasms due to a lack of proper lighting. Makes sense. Just, just put some lighting in it then, really. What was that? Was that this little guy? All right, good picture of him sleeping. Can I wake him up? I saw him sneaking in. Not a lot of creatures on this bit. Just these little sleepy acorns. And that fluffy monkey. And this. What is that? Doug. It's, literally called, it's called Doug. It's not even got a monster name. It's just Doug. Dancing away. It looks like a creature from... Arg real monsters. There was a creature that used to hold its its eyes in its hands. Reminds me a bit of that. Hello. Oh, that's a, that's a tree, isn't it? That's the thing I need to pick up. Yeah. There's a creature over there. That's not a creature. I thought it was. Anything down here? Oh, it's bound to be something down here. Oh, that must be the other way that I can go. That's fine. That is fine. Let's slap this. Ground Rosa Lord thorns mixed with water were used by village folk to get drunk and poison their neighbours, sometimes both at the same time. Fantastic. Poison your neighbours, get a little bit drunk. It's a win-win in my books. Not that I want to poison my neighbours. My neighbours are lovely. Okay, so the rocks are the thing I want to be aiming for in this one. Break. Yeah, let's take that. I didn't even see that. That was a mad guess. Okay, I've already got a picture of this guy. Five star Doug. Five star Doug. Five star Doug. What is that? There's a, just a head. Rumple. Rumple Stiltskin. Oh, 
That looks like no face. There's so many kind of, yeah, very kind of Spirited Away-esque creatures. That reminds me of something other than no face, I think. Stop rumbling at me. Oh. That wasn't a great picture of whatever that was. A little fire guy. There's Calcifer over there. No, nope, he's gone. Ah, ah. Grab it. Thank you. I wanted to conquer. Donut. Oh. Nope, that's terrifying. It's like a big skull head. Is that for me to pick up? Don't take that with us. That's definitely cursed. Uh, okay. Two boar. He is massive. <laughs> See you there. Kn knuspers. Knuspers. Why flies it? Oh, I love this game. Don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know how to get in there. Oi! Creatures! Oh, man. There's so much kicking off all of a sudden. I want to get a better picture of this thing. Here we go. Might be now. No, that wasn't great. Ooh. That's standing up slightly better. Can I get that? Is that something for me to grab? What is that? Ooh. There we go, it's a bit better. Whoa, little mushroom men. <laughs> it's just me. It's just a video of me screaming at creatures. Wee, there's a creature. That one looks like it's in pain. Apparently it's asleep. It doesn't look asleep. It looks like it's in tremendous pain and it's screaming for its life. Oh, look at that. Little turd one. It's like a little little archway turd. He's brilliant. Oh, that one fell apart. I think that's the end. I think we made it. We made it to the end of Panko Park. Smack that. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful game. Yeah. Oh, you've got a hat on. That's a new picture. This ride ends here. But the journey does not. Inspirational stuff. Penko ball. Press 2 to select and to throw. Some animals like it, some animals hate it. Okay, so I can just throw balls at people now. That's great. So, um, select that. And then throw it at them. And it makes them do a dance or something. Yeah, I can. He's a snail. Oh, wicked. Right, okay. This changes everything. Oh! Oh! Right. Didn't plan that. He's fallen down the ravine. Right. Uh, okay. I like the snail. He's making a great noise. Okay, can I throw this ball at the penis? <gasps> it's not the penis. It's the, it's the, the McDonald's guy. Um, oh, what's his name? Not the Hamburglar. The other one. The Hamburglar's mate. Big purple blob. Uh, okay, right, let's wake you up. Great. This is brilliant. I'm just having the best time that I've ever had playing a game. Alright, let's calm this guy down by throwing this at him. Yeah, that's what I thought, mate. Get down, stay down. And, and again. Yeah. Stay right there. Ooh. Oh, he is ang... Okay, now he looks like Salafingers. Oh, that's a wicked picture. All right. Calm down. Jesus. Right, I'm just throwing these at everybody now. You can have one. Nah, he didn't seem fussed. Oh. Oh, it's like a floating dog face. I like the floating dog face. That's cool. That did something, but I'm not sure what. It was too late, right? Wake this little monkey guy out of his little... Yes! He's a mole! He's great. Right, and now you up there. 
you big pile of nothing. He doesn't seem that fast. I don't think that's going to do anything for him. Oh! It did. Mud gunk turned into... Uh, just more mud gunk. Just a big wall of it. With a little little screaming face. This game is wonderful. It's, it's so relaxing. There's not a huge amount to it. You can just kick back, take pictures of weird looking creatures. Um, and just try and get three star for each entry into your sticker book, your photo book. It's super enjoyable, super simple. I think anyone can enjoy this. But for fans of Pokemon Snap, especially that are kind of looking for that kind of experience again while they wait for the new Pokemon Snap game, this is ideal. Um, I'm going to leave it there for now. I've had a great time playing. Hope you've enjoyed watching. This is out now on Steam. As I said, it costs about £10.25. pence. I think it's well worth your time. Um, kids and adults or just fans of Pokemon Snap, go check it out. It's... Uh, yeah, really genuinely wonderful. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon for another one, guys. Take care. See you later.